say that um, I've recognized as an African that there's so much opportunity in Africa and I'm, I'm committed to investing in providing opportunity for young ones like myself. Thank you very much. I'm happy you highlighted that. You know, um, like we said, this is not the first time we're doing this. As a matter of fact, we've done this same thing just recently in Ghana, and I commissioned um, a similar project, which was what? A gym in the ghetto. So this is not my first time in the ghetto. I was born in the ghetto, left the ghetto, and I come back to the ghetto to lift the ghetto, because I believe superstars are in the ghetto. Aside from that, when we mean refurbishment, you know, we are not uh, we are not English teachers here or lecturers. We are practical. And uh, my brother Zebra said yesterday on TV, we were watching a video, and he said this is the gym. When he said this is the gym, he did not mean the space. He meant the people, you know. And so our refurbishment and our partnership is not just towards the outer shell, but it's also towards equipment, and most importantly, the people who come to the gym. Thank you very much. To live together. And music is just one part of entertainment, but what a lot of people don't realize is that sports is entertainment. In fact, sports, the biggest entertainment event in the world is the FIFA World Cup, right? And people travel all around the world to watch. So it's, it is entertainment, music is part of it, and boxing is definitely, definitely part of it. I know we've heard things like uh, Tree Line Manila. You see the, you see the name Tree Line Mali, Manila. You see, um, what's that gentleman? The rumble in the jungle, in the jungle, you know. You see the Floyd Mayweather, when you watch Floyd Mayweather, he looks like a superstar, correct? And I think my brother here looks like a superstar, and there'll be more superstars, thank you. Like I always say is that there's talent, there's too much talent, too much talent, including in, um, in Uganda. Yesterday I met an artist, I had met him before, but I met him again, and he showed me his new song with Beanie Man, you know. His name is Joe Puiz. Joe Puiz, right, with, with Beanie Man. And when I watched that song, and I don't want to start singing here, you know. When I watched the song, and when I, when I was hearing, there's a melody that stuck in my head. Doom, 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 doom. And I was like, wow, this song is so good. But the promotion of the song is what makes the difference. It's not about just quality. Our superstar here is a boxer. But boxers also need what? Promotion. So I think we all, especially us here, since we have the media here, and people like myself, we all owe it to ourselves to promote our talent, especially homegrown talent. So as you show, as we all put spotlights on international talent, on Nigerian talent like myself, I think it's important for us to always remember we need to do what? Promote our local talent. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.